it was Friday. No, Good it's morning. Hi. We are like, we're back. We're back and we're going to be able to talk to everybody. We love talking and doing these lives. It's so, it's fun for us. Honestly, it's work, but it's fun. And we love to just get everybody talking to us. So we are, tell them what we're going to be talking about. So we're, we are just so <clears throat> excited to tell you a little bit about our France trip. It was totally business. It was business. We left no on Monday. No fun at all. <laughs> right. No we, fun at all. We left on Monday and we got back on Friday night late. But it was it was dreamy. That is really fast for a Europe trip. Because it's like two days of travel. We had an appointment with Gwen. And mm -hmm. you all were able to meet Gwen on our um, Instagram from our live from over there at the salt farms in Garonne, mm -hmm. France. And that was really fun. He loved it. And um, we just loved that you could meet him because this is the gentleman that we've been talking to for like a year. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get you guys this salt. Well, what was so fun is we wanted to, we didn't know how to picture the town that actually is make well you know growing and harvesting is that harvesting no, you would call it not growing it <laughs> well not farming growing it, it but farming, farming it. it and we didn't know how to picture the town no we, we, didn't, we had no idea we had no idea no Gwen had told us that it was a great little town but there's so many great little towns over in Europe yeah and some are you know some are really great and others are cute and most of them are charming but this one, we were shocked. He never told us that Incredible. there was... Incredible. ...that there was the old wall around it. That's, yeah. You know, from like 12. Well, okay, so right when we got there that day, um, well, we, we went... To, didn't we drop our bags off? Yeah. yeah. We dropped our bags off, and then we took a taxi, and we're like, take us, take Garand, because where our hotel was was about like 5, 10 minutes yeah. from Garand. And she dropped us off, and it was a walled city, like my mom said. So we start screaming because it's so charming and so to die for. And she said, well, I can't even drive you, like, in through the gate because there's a market going on. And then we start screaming even more because we're obsessed with the baskets. And we found out the name, Kabas. It's like... <laughs> And she goes, baskets, baskets. So I Googled what a basket, a French basket looked like. And she goes, oh, cabas or whatever. Yeah. And we said, get us out. And she was like, I'm not kidding. It's closing in five minutes. Yeah. And we're like, ah. So we go running in like crazy. And we found the basket lady and she loved us. But we grabbed as many as we could because you have to carry on all yeah. this stuff. And so you can't get, you can't get as too many much as you would like. <laughs> Anyways. <of> anything. <laughs> so they're the most to die for baskets. And so many of you ask, what do you even do with them? And I wanted to show you this really fast. But don't you think I should show them? Uh-huh. And mom has the same thing in her house, but look at my baby's high chair. But we just have them sitting out and we everywhere and we use them we and use tell them. them how we use them. Well, today I brought <laughs> everything over here that I needed in my two big baskets. We There's all different sizes. This is a big one that will hold a big pan like we needed today. This one's even larger, but... We use, we use them all day long, every day, toting things around. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. It's, they're, they're perfect. But let's talk a minute about the salt. We, okay, yeah, we, so then we go to the salt. So then we go to the salt, but we do want to bring those baskets over here, and we're hoping to be able to do yeah. that one day. But we went to the salt um, farm, and we saw thousands of, hundreds of acres. Um, it would be were, perfect. She said it would be perfect in California to use them as reusable for... You know how you have to buy the bags in California now? Oh, yes. Now? Perfect. And they're it's, so cute. And they're, they're, okay. just, they're so fun. So we went to the salt farm where we found hundreds, thousands of acres of, of land that's being farmed and has been for a, a few thousand years. 2,000 years. At least 2,000 goes beyond that. Um, they're still using the same tools from 1,000 years ago, which was amazing. The um, They've just been switched for a newer tool but it's the but same really nothing exactly. fancy at all no. like very simple but what you couldn't see is there's a big ocean that was like off in the distance that you couldn't see and that's where they bring in the water and then they have how many acres again 
Well, it's like 20... 20 acres, they said. No, no, 20,000, I think. But I can't remember. Oh, was it? 20,000, was it? No, I think it was like 2,000 acres. Oh, was it two? Yeah, not not 20. (laughs) But it was like two... It was 2,000 acres, and then they bring them in to these... What are they called? Little ponds. Little ponds. And they go from station to station, from, from little... Um, ponds to the next pond getting saltier and saltier. Right. And then when it gets to the end, they test the salt. And when it's the perfect um, right amount of saltiness, then they harvest. Right. And we missed the actual harvest because the day we were there, it was cloudy. It didn't rain, but it was too cloudy. The next day, they started to come out to harvest. Yeah, and well, we didn't even catch it, but we saw the little guy in his car, and he had the salt tools on the back, so you could tell. But they said it's only like 30 days to harvest. Yeah. So there's not that much harvest time. This year, there were only 30 days. So the salt is made by three elements. Water, wind, and sun. And, and that clay. is it. Yes. Well, the clay is The underneath. clay is on the bottom. Right. And that, that, that's it. And it's full of so many great minerals. The potassium, the iron, the magnesium. It goes on and on. And no preservatives. It is not trucked out and then, you know, or mined. It's nothing like that. For instance, Himalayan salt is mined. And it's not even mined in the Himalayas. It's done in a different, a different country, actually. But this is pure through and through, 100% natural. And we fell in love with the taste of it um, the first time I ever tasted it and tracked it down. And so this is what we're passionate about. And the Gwen guy said, this was honestly the big thing. Like my mom keeps saying that it's trucked out and things like that. Sorry, my voice is still kind of gone. But um, he wasn't in another France uh, salt company. Yes. That they, they, so what they do, they take the salt, they put it in the truck and then they take it, they wash it. And so that's already taking a ton of the taste and the good things that are in it. And then they have to add more. So this is, crazy that you guys this is literally what they are taking right there scraping it and we're getting to eat it that's what's incredible so it's so much flavor and just so good so this is the first layer which is the fleur de sel in the purple and white box or container the first layer and then it turns gray and more moist as it gets closer to the clay. But mm-hmm. they're interchangeable. And as we learned, just like we, I have been she learning over was, four let years. Let me tell you something. She was driving every taxi driver, every person in France. We were calling her, what's cuckoo again? Foo? Foo. Foo, I think. I said, France. what's crazy? And they're like, foo, foo, you know, <laughs> especially to her. She goes, do you use the gray salt? Or the pink salt, you know, because we were trying to, you know, language barrier. And it was pretty funny. We have a video of the taxi guy driver that it was so natural and so real. And he said, of course, I use the gray salt from Garand. Yes. And his only grain was Kamut. And that was amazing. So So it was hilarious. We also found out um, about so many people who um, only eat ancient grains in Europe. And so we're also very, very, we're so happy to be able to share our Kamut with you as well. And over the last week and be, you know, the last time we were, we were here, we were actually at the Swiss days and we've had so many emails and so many pictures of everyone making the Kamut yes. with the salt that it is, it's Someone just, just said amazing. it makes your food so much better. Yes, it, it we does. We agree. It does. And so many people agree. And the Kamut will change your life. We have so many of you but writing anyways, to us. Okay, but ask a question. <laughs> we'll talk about Ask a question if you have a question about the salt. But we'll move on from the salt. But let's show you the cute little things that we got. So this is something that we really hope to sell because it's just too cute. It's got the airtight lid seal. seal and it's sitting out by our how we have everything sitting by our stove so we just love this thing so we're keeping the gray salt in this which 
You don't have to keep it in an airtight container. You don't have to. You can, well, well, this is our number one question. So we need to do like a video to constantly explain it. You can keep it in the bag. You can roll it up and just put like a clip on it. Um, you can keep it in your mortar and pestle thing. You, um, until we start selling this cute, cool little thing, there's the other one, I guess I should have brought it over, which World Market had it, but it's sold out. But Magnolia at Target has the exact same thing. It's got the air the seal. The same airtight seal. Airtight seal, and it says salt, and it's cute. So until you sell, we sell ours, and then look at this cute little dish for the floor to sell. So this is the for the finishing. fining, the finishing, and this is sitting out. It's called kitchen art, like we say. I don't know. It makes you more excited to use the salt. Oh, it it's does. really cute. Okay, um, now we're getting in some stuff. Super interesting, but let's talk about Lizzie's Killer Turquoise Ring. I can't focus. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Guess See what? I we at Swiss Days... There were these turquoise ladies. DM me if you want their info. I can't believe how affordable this is. $35 for this. And how much was yours? Well, they were... 30 I think they were 60 or 70 They were having a good deal off. at Swiss yeah. Days. But I've never... I'm finally getting into turquoise. We... Our sisters, well, her They're, daughters... Our one sister, Emily, is like dripping in turquoise. <laughs> anyway, she will hate me we for saying that. But we love it. I'm it starting to get stuff. It brings an energy yeah. to you. It so, brings an energy to your life. It's that's super nice. Fun. DM me. They, they live in St. George. They would love. They have. It's quality stuff for really good prices. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, I've missed you, ladies. We've missed you. Okay, so how do you grind it? You couldn't use it whole since it's so big yes we do we use it teaspoon per per teaspoon just as it is if you want to grind it you can we have salt sea salt grinders um you can get a sea salt grinder at world market we tell everybody that about that one i have one that's electric that grinds it out if you want it smaller some people prefer it smaller um it's it's okay but something that we did just find out is they do sell this ground so it's something that we might start selling yeah but most of them we asked because i know some of you are like it's too chunky we asked and this is what they use yeah most everyone uses this and the fleur de sel. They just use them it's interchangeably. It's just interchangeable. If you, yeah, so do the ways that she just said but if our, you feel like it's too chunky, but it's really not. Our cookies and our cakes are better just right out of this. Every casserole, our bread, everything, we just use this gray salt. Oh my heavens, I keep doing that. Exactly like this. We use the gray salt right out of the bag, teaspoon per teaspoon. The gray is more salty than the fleur de sel, but it isn't too salty. Sorry, I'm trying it's to fix perfect. that. It's perfect, it's perfect. Okay, our relatives in Austria say Camus is their go-to for everything. Thank you, that is crazy because in Austria, they did a test and I know all about um, their experiment that they had in Austria and they were testing it on gluten-free people for years and they found that the Camus is like we say, number one, taste, number two, texture, and number three, digestibility. And they are finding that so many gluten-free, not celiac, but so many gluten-free people can eat the Kamut. And we, how many people do we know that are back eating bread? I don't have one person, this is the honest truth we don't lie, that has hated the Kamut yet. Not one person. And so that is like... We're not lying. We're telling the truth. And we're so happy because we want you to have the best quality of life. And this is what we feel like the salt in the Kamut. My mom is the one that discovered and made it. She's the one that's made everything. The amazing <laughs> cookbooks. She's no. the bomb. But I'm helping her. <laughs> I'm helping not her hardly. promote it not and hardly. talk about it because I'm just as passionate even though she's the one that found it. We're all passionate. But it's, it's game changer. The, my, my dream was to share this with the world. When I found the Kamut, 
and the salt. And it, it was like a marriage in heaven. It was and, a marriage. And that was my dream to share it with the world. So. Okay, wait. Have you tried to fit the salt into the 13 uh, boxes to ship? What can I fit in my box with Camus? Yes. Um, so we're actually finding out that a lot of things fit. Books, right? Yes. We haven't had any B returns yet. No, it depends on how many, um, sets, um, bags of Kamut you buy. If you buy two bags of Kamut, then less can go in. If you buy one bag of Kamut, then more can go in. Yeah, but so, we, I mean, I guess I should double check on that, but I know that the orders, everybody's been adding salt and everything, and it's been great it's been for working. 13. Yeah. Um, that is the cheapest. Flour is very heavy. It is very heavy. So I promise we're selling it for the best price, the best shipping. Our market on everything is funny but so whatever it, it's like it's a good deal and you can actually fit a lot into your package that was and a you'll find people. out that it's a great deal and we have our pickups around so those of you who are in utah you don't have to pay the shipping we're hoping i've got three girls coming after this live video <laughs> that are coming to pick up salt and kamut so if you can pick it up if you live in state then great we're hoping um to get a store before long where you can oh, come yes, and pick yes. it up okay as, as well okay <laughs> yes we will We'll give the info for the turquoise ladies yes we will i thought the same thing however it's amazing and makes the food taste amazing yes it's such a quality it, it ups your quality in your food um the kamut and the salt so much that you'll never go back so today we need to talk about what today is to get back on our meal plan lizzie Okay, my oldest daughter is gluten intolerant. She has been for years, but she can eat the Kamut flour. Wow. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it the best? You know, we heard people on the airplane talking about the ancient grains and about Kamut. And we, we were dying because we were just overhearing the conversation like three rows up from us. And people were saying that it's changing lives. And it is, especially the Kamut. I've tried spelt, I've tried einkorn, I've tried tough, I've tried other grains, but it, it's not as good. It doesn't, it's, it's not the you quality You can't use it taste. interchangeable as cup for cup like you can for this. Literally, you can dump your all-purpose and, and it's use, cup for cup. Yeah. The word, Everything. And it's, it, the, the thing is, the taste, you can't beat the I taste. I don't know why she's so much higher than me. What? Because what I'm sitting on a stool. I know. I'm what? sitting on a stool. Okay. Love you baking with Bonnie. That is so nice. Last time I ordered the Kamut, I got two bags in one. But when I get more, I want salt too. Will Perfect. that fit in there too? Yes. Yes. I think it will. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Do you have any more 50 pounds? Yes, we yes. got more. Yes. So, yes. We're also going to try to sell the 25 pounders <laughs> now as well. So, they're a little bit easier for us to carry because we can't hardly carry the 50 pounds out to anybody. These, so, these, you guys, we're already been going for 20 know, minutes and we, we can't need even. To, we need to go. We, we could need talk to move all along. day. We could. Okay, let's I wish, move along. Sorry. I wish we could just have a seminar once a week, but, um, and I'll get together. It would be so much fun. Tonight is. Italian night. Last night was comfort food night. Who did the Bangkok stir fry? I know Lizzie did. It was delicious. It's yummy. It's, it's yummy. yummy. It's so good for you. Tonight is our easy American lasagna in our first book. If you've never made lasagna, this one is for you. We have four different lasagnas in two books, over 400 recipes, but four lasagnas. And this is our easiest lasagna. It's um, yummy. Easy American it's lasagna. Yummy. Super easy, super good. So everybody, if you don't know what you're having for dinner tonight, um, go ahead and give this lasagna a try. Um, we'll be both making this tonight. So it's super fun. The so, 50 pound bags are 7105. Yes, That's with tax. This, this pan on and then MS Turquoise in St. George. That might be them. What who was it? Um I they're the cutest girls. I can't believe I forgot their names because they are so cute. But we'll find out. It's on, we'll tell you. It's on the main street on the boulevard there in St. George we'll down towards the end near the Red Hill. And that's where they are. They're in the, the one little area, and I can't remember the name of it. But I'll, we'll you get St. It George to people, you know. We'll get it to them. Yeah. All right. So, so now what? <laughs> 
There were the crazy so thing. many things we wanted to share with you today. Um, Too every, much information. When we went to this crepery, which is um, called in in Marmont. I oh, it is M and S. Yes, it's a, okay. okay thank our you. Our family just confirmed. Okay, thank you. Yes, it is M and S. So we found this crepery in. Montmartre, uh -huh. and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, Paris. Um, and it was the Le Tier Bonchon. I uh, we can't say it. I can't say it, um, but it actually is um, what you use to get the wine corks out. That's that's what that means. Yeah, that's what that name means. But and that is, guy, I did um, not know he was doing bunny ears to me. He was, was so hilarious. Fun. He was, so, it was so nice. It was the best crepe I've ever put in my mouth ever. It, it was ever. ever and you know so many of you say when you go someplace you need to come back and make us that recipe so a lot of um yeah a lot of people i have talked to they said well you just tease us you go and you travel and you try these amazing things and then we we don't get to experience that food so they said why can't you create what you made you know what or no what you ate so she did so she we did. came home and created this recipe for you it will be posted today on our website um and it's it's the dessert crepes and there is a difference in our first book or our second, second book in our second book we actually have savory crepes and this is called our chicken divan crepes with cheese sauce and some of you have probably made this one, but this is, this is a savory crepe, okay? We don't have any dessert crepes in our books, but we do now because basically on our website, because we now have a dessert <laughs> crepe made with our white kamut. Of course, you can make this savory crepe with white kamut because remember, we substitute all flour now for white kamut. Yes, so it's all we use. Um, so this recipe is specifically made for you today with our white kamut. If you don't have it, um, then go ahead and and use all-purpose flour. But um, it's it's a great recipe, and we're ready to show it to you now. What he did was he had a fantastic crepe, and then we said. What's your best? Yeah, crepe? we said, well, what's the best one? Yeah. And he goes, the chocolate. And she wasn't super excited because we were picturing it was just like a Nutella. And he was like, no. He was like, no to Nutella. Like, acted like he hates Nutella. Did he not? He did. And anyways, you can but, tell him too. But it's great. Nutella and I, I still like banana. I mean, I, Nutella. I love Nutella. That was kind of my number one crepe, really, before was <laughs> oh, Nutella yeah. with banana. Yeah. But, and then I've gone to another creperie where they put the whole pieces of chocolate into the crepe and it sort of melts. But this one, he had a little pot right there next to his... His um, little French copper pot. It was so authentic and he just stirred it up a little bit and we were like, what? And then he put it all over the crepe. He it, said it was his homemade sauce. He's like, this is my homemade specialty sauce. And it tasted like something we had eaten before, <laughs> one of our sauces. But I, Our but family we, member has also informed us that you have a breakfast crepe in your second book. Oh, my goodness. We do. Thank you so much. For, we do have a breakfast crepe. That's right. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, who no, was that? The, okay. The guy said he hated Nutella. We don't hate Nutella. No, no we don't hate Nutella. At Pat all. said, who hates Nutella? No, we don't hate Nutella. No, it was the French man that said, he I, just he said didn't no. Love it. He, he said, just no, was losing. You need it. the real stuff. Yeah, he yeah, said, the real stuff. The real chocolate. Mm -hmm. So I have a little chocolate sauce for you, which is. She created this, you guys. She created this entire recipe off of what we ate. So hopefully, it's and it tastes exactly the same. It's two tablespoons plus two <laughs> teaspoons heavy cream, two tablespoons plus two teaspoons uh. of milk, any kind, a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, two teaspoons of cold butter, and a, print, and a pinch of our gray salt. And just follow the directions. It's so simple. Use whatever kind of chocolate chips. Um, I brought 
um, the Ghirardelli today, but I love the Nestle Semi-Sweet. You don't have to get too fancy if you don't want to use The Nestle bag from Costco is, is such a good price. And it's, it's just such and a they're good delicious. Price. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah. If you want to get fancy and use Belgium chocolate, go ahead and do it um, because we're using it all the time as well. But I made it simple and with our simple crepe recipe. So let's go over and see if we can. Let's go. Don't right. worry, you guys. We like Nutella. Everybody was losing it. Oh, we love Nutella. Okay. It was just the, it was just the French guy. So basically, I'm, we're over here at the stove, and I turned this heat up because we want to get the pan, and hopefully you have a cast iron pot. You know, in France, um, whenever you go, well, actually most creperies, they have the big round cast iron crepery, you know, um, maker that they make the actual crepes on. So we don't have one of those, but we do have cast iron pans. So if you have one, this is a time to get it out. Um, this is a 10 inch, which is going to make about an eight inch crepe, but we want to heat it to um, not smoking. It was smoking, and so I turned it, I, I took it off. Now here's, here's our chocolate sauce that I started in a double boiler. You can't see it, you're too. That I started in a double boiler. And then I moved to the copper pot. But if you don't have a double boiler like this, because it's so safe to first put the cream and the milk in and get it warm, and then add your chocolate chips and stir, 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 stir until it's smooth, then add the cold butter, and then your pinch of salt. It's so safe in a double boiler but a lot of you don't have those. And so I understand. If you don't, I told you in the recipe how you can do it in the microwave or you can do it on top of the stove on heat that is so low, it's gonna take you a minute to get it melted because you don't want to burn Okay, it. mom, I guess we didn't say good enough that um, the salt is wet. Somebody's saying the salt is wet. The salt is moist, yes. The gray salt is moist. And that's another reason that the French people like to keep it in an airtight container because they like to keep it moist. A lot of people in America like it to just dry out and use it dried out. But um, I think when you start using the salt and you get used to it, you appreciate the moistness of it and you'll, you'll want to keep it in an air, airtight container. Okay, what um, cast iron do you use? Um, this is just one that I've had forever. And she likes the Lodge brand though too. Yes, the Lodge. I think it is a Lodge. And I'd have to turn it upside down. Let's see, let me just grab a paper towel. So we have a little bit of, I put a little- We will post this entire recipe after um, I, and put it on our website. Yes, I put a little bit of canola oil. You saw me do that. And then I brush, I'll do it again, so in case you didn't see, put a little bit of canola oil in here with a brush. And then I take a paper towel and just sort of wipe like that. Then our batter is already ready and it's been in the fridge for at least an hour. And then we take, whoa, a fourth of a cup, just like this, and we grab our pot and take it off the heat. Okay, it's still smoking a little too much. We grab our pot and take it I'm off the heat. Turn it down. No, it, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. We'll just let it cool down for just a second, and then we'll pour pour our batter in. And as we do, we take our hot pad and move the crepe, move the batter around, and then put it back on top of the stove mm. for one minute. For Sorry, one the minute. light. So I'm timing this for one minute, okay? The light is going crazy, sorry. Okay, <laughs> so we're letting this cook just like this for one minute. Hopefully it wasn't too hot. And then we're going to use a spatula like this to go around the edge, not all the way. Shouldn't have done that, okay? So we, we can use a spatula like this or, or a turner to help you get this thing turned. So we're about at a minute. 
you're gonna put it up and turn. Just Fabulous. Like that. <laughs> okay. Whoops. Just like that. And then another 30 seconds on that side. And then we'll grab a plate. We'll grab a plate and in about 30 seconds, we'll take it out. Want me to and hold it? Have, yeah. And then we have our chocolate sauce over here. So here's our first crate. Okay, should we do it again or is that good enough? Do you want to see it again? <laughs> okay. I'm asking I him. I think that was good enough. I think it was great. Okay. Now our warm crate, we'll put it over here and we'll get our chocolate sauce that is hot. We want, we want the chocolate sauce hot. And then we'll just take it and spread it just like he did there in France. And they want to see it in one more Paris. time. <laughs> okay, just like we did, he did there in Paris. And however, you know, much you want. And then we fold in, we'd work quickly. We fold in one side, and then we fold in another, and then we fold, fold it up, up the bottom. And then he served it to us in foil. Yeah, he did. And, I and loved, it kept it hot the I entire time. That. Yes, because it kept it so hot. So he just sort of served it to us like this. And yeah. that's how it was. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that looks pretty much Mom, like it looks it. amazing. Yeah. So we, his, the, the only difference is his was larger. It was probably a 14 inch to a 16 inch. So it was much larger because there were three of us eating on that crate. I could eat this whole thing. Oh, so could I. So easy. Okay, so let me taste. Let me taste it. Mm. I can hardly get down to the chocolate. It's so... <laughs> I think it's too much foil. Mm. You guys. Yeah, that was too much foil. Okay, they, they want to see it one more time. Um, it's exact. Okay. Okay. Amazing job. That was a little too much foil. So, let's put our pan back on. Now, if you don't have one of these um, skillets, then use something like this, okay? This will work as well. And if you have a nonstick, great, use a nonstick. You're gonna be... Would you wrap it differently to serve it on a plate with toppings? Yeah, well, yes. <laughs> yes, if I was going to... So, in the recipe, I tell you to either wrap it in foil, like they did in France, and eat it like this, or just serve it on a dessert plate with a fork. And then you could put toppings, whatever you like, on it. Um, okay. It's a new recipe. Yes, we're, we'll post it today. This yes. is all new. So we made this up for you because we wanted all of you to be able to taste that crepe. Crepe, exactly how it was. So we'll take... What brand is my range? I have no clue. <laughs> okay. I'm in a... So you have to work super... Thermador? You have to work super fast. I'm in a rental. I don't even okay. know. Sorry. When, like, what is this? When the pan is perfect and, I, and I'm not paying enough attention to the heat here. So hopefully it will be okay. Um, you have to work super fast. So we, every single time you, you put a little more oil down and then take the paper towel. Then you take the pan off the heat and then you add the fourth of a cup of crepe batter and just sort of... And you keep telling them it's a 10 inch pan, right? Yes, this is a 10 inch pan. But the crepe actually turns out about eight inches. And over in France, it's, you know, it's large. It's a 14 to 16 inch large crepe um, pan. But I just think it's fun if you have an iron skillet to do like they do in France. I think it's really fun. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. A nonstick will work. Um, so we're going to time this for one minute. Yeah, this oven has seemed really great. Thermador. <laughs> 
Um, that is so nice. This girl says, you guys are so good to us. Changing our lives is enough in your recipes as you just keep going. Amazing. Oh, Thank and you. you just keep going. That's so nice. Well, I was so excited to share this with everyone this morning. So take, take a What's little... What's the best spatula? Um, well, there's two different kinds. So I don't really know. I'm loving this one, this wood spatula i am absolutely loving this from where um i actually got it in in new york i don't even have it Oops, <laughs> i almost picked it up a little too soon but no that's totally fine and you can use your fingers too to turn i don't it know off. why the light goes so crazy sorry so another 30 seconds and then we have it but the key the key um the whole key to making crepes is to get your pan hot, but not smoking. And then, you know, put the um, canola oil on, brush it on, take a paper towel, dab it a little, and then take your pan off the flame. And then add your one fourth cup of batter. That is the key. If you add- This is on. Oh, goodness. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. You If you add- the batter right to the top it won't it won't work if you put the batter right in on top for some reason it just doesn't so we'll come back over someone said their favorite spatulas are from williams sonoma good amount of bendiness oh that's great I so what if so this many. sets up and gets too thick so then you add a little more cream to it or milk and i've already had to do that because i made this early this morning and you can thin it down as thin as you want. I could actually stand to add more milk or more cream to this the right now. The light is going nuts. Okay. Sorry. Hold on. I Okay, it's good light there. So then up, and then that's, that's it. Okay? It's amazing. Okay. Well, that's we're done now. We've been going for <laughs> too um, long again. I just wanted... Yeah, are there any other questions? I'm going to have um, a bite now. Taste it. Are there any other questions about our Kamut? Mm. Um, we've got our five-pound bags available. Well, we'll talk all about Kamut on Thursday. We, we're we not doing a live on Friday because we have an event we, we have to go to. We have a Tastemakers to. Conference, which we will be to on Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. And so we're um, going to be doing lives tomorrow. One with Desiree will be with us in my kitchen this is heaven. tomorrow. Is it good? Yeah. Does it taste just like it? Yes. Really? No, it really does. I, I thought it did. <laughs> we're in France. Yeah. <laughs> it's more France in France. It is so fun. So, um... Tomorrow we'll be with Desiree in my kitchen, and then Thursday we're going to be making the bread again. We're going to show the bread again. Because there's so many people who have been asking us, show us how to do yeah. that bread again. Yeah. People, it's it's too much fun. And I, she thinks it's no-brainer, but whatever. I think the way that she folds her loaves, it's always so clean. Like, you know how there's times that you can see, you know what I'm trying to say? The indention. Yeah, the indention in all of that. Hers is always so smooth, so perfect, and she's got a really great trick. So we're going to show and talk all about it. That's really nice. Yes, um, we do sell the grain unground. We sell yes. just the grain. Yes. So I want to talk just a minute about something that's happening this Saturday in our hometown, Lizzie, in mm -hmm. Woodland. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's the Choke Cherry Festival. And my good friend, Billy Sue, she runs it. And she does such a great job. But there's a few things that I wanted you to know about. She brought me some of um, her jams. And something that she explained to me that I really didn't know before. She, like, here's Hazel's Hawberry Jelly. And here's Ethel's Elderberry Jelly. And Charity's Choke Cherry Jelly. I know that this happened to be her grandmother. But these were also really important, really fun people who lived in the town of Woodland yeah. years and years ago that she's named these jams after. So I think that is that so is So fun. that's up in Woodland by Camus, not the Woodland Hills. So this is up where she lives. And Billy Sue's a good friend, and she puts it on every year. There's, isn't there hay rides for kids? It's, I mean, it's like a full fun day, and you can come and get her amazing choke 
cherry jam. And she's famous for it. Yes. It's yummy. And others, it'll be a fun day if you have a chance. Go yeah. check it out. It starts about 9.30 in the morning. Last Go eat at the Woodland Biscuit Company. Yes. The best restaurant in the world. Yeah, in it the is, world. It is. It is fantastic. It's it's amazing. But go check out the little town of Woodland. Have so much fun up there for the day with your family. We actually can't be there because of the Tastemakers Conference, yeah. which we're really sad. <laughs> but um, we'll... It's, oh, it's, there's Patrice. There's a hay maze, pumpkins, food, kid stuff. Yeah, it's just a really fun, fun day. It is such so a fun day. So you need day. to go. You need to go and look at, and it's a beautiful area. If you've never been up there, it's just beautiful. Especially this time of year. It's what day wonderful. is it? This Saturday. Saturday. What time? 9.30 a.m. to about 4 p.m. And we're just sad we're not going to be there. I know. It's a bummer. There's something the last couple of years um, for us. I've been there but many years. But at least years. we'll go get our jam. Yeah. But, Lizzie, we've been there many years selling our books. Yeah. Um, and our other products. We're missing it this time. Yeah. We'll be back next year, I hope. So, I know. She's a real gem. I know. So, she's amazing. Oh. Somebody said you're a real gem. <laughs> not our I lady. might have missed a bit, but are you going to share the recipe? Yeah. We're going to... I'll get it posted right now. Okay? Okay. All right. Have a wonderful day. Keep cooking. Your family is worth it. And make the lasagna for tonight. It's so easy, but so delicious. Don't forget, we have the two-week menu. It's always posted. We try to post it on Fridays so that you can get your groceries on Saturday and ready to go for So a Monday. new one will be posted this Friday. Um, is it this Friday? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I think, think it, it is, is. Because it is the 16th, I think. Okay. Love you guys. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Have a good day. Bye, everybody.